Greetings. Um, today, I, as mentioned before, uh, I am going to talk about the 1979 cult film uh, The Warriors, um, directed by Walter Hill. And, uh, yeah, this is a basically a real true, uh, uh, cult film. Uh, it originally, you know, came out February, uh, 1979, so that makes this the 45th anniversary of this film. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, 45th, yeah, 79th, yeah. I have my math right, so that's good. Um, but, um, This film was became quite divisive because you know uh, it did quite well uh, when it opened, but then after like a week or two, it got pulled due to the fact that gangs went to see this film, and you know, like afterwards or whatever, they they started to beat each other up, and uh, because of that, this got a reputation of being uh, just bad or violent uh, in some way. Um, it, had, it had a reputation that just wasn't positive and had to be pulled from theaters as a result. So, um, but uh, as it says here on the back, you know, uh, you know, there's all these gang lead, like there's these gangs throughout New York, and uh, a gang leader uh, of Cyrus, who uh, uh, is the leader of the uh, most uh, powerful gang. He calls like nine members of calls upon nine members of each uh, gang in New York of 90 members of the choosing like leader included and um they uh have like a summit where basically you know everyone comes together and you know we're gonna try to have peace amongst each other and that they can control uh New York uh and they have more members they'll have more uh uh like gangs then you know say the uh then the police have people like officers and so you know it, it just it becomes this at first it's a great thing uh, but then uh, uh cyrus gets killed by uh luther um, the leader of the rogues and he blames the warriors for doing it and then throughout the film uh, they have to go uh, from uh, you know from where they are in the city all the way back to Coney Island which is where the warriors are mainly at and uh so that's the gist. They have to not get killed along the way, and one of them gets arrested. Another uh, is killed, though the one that's killed, uh, Fox, uh, he he was killed off because um, the actor uh, Thomas G. Waits, um, you know, he and uh, and uh, Walter Hill weren't getting along. He was kind of being difficult. He was asking certain questions that, you know, as like an actor, he it, none of those were really his concern. But if he wanted to raise him, he could just, like, he was like, in retrospect, I should have just called my agent and have him deal with all that. And, but, you know, he, he was like also, as he said, hey, he was young and he was kind of cocky, kind of like full of himself a bit in that, I'm young and I'm, I've got this bleeding role in this film. And so I've got that going. And then he just kind of let that go to his head. And also apparently he was like 
doing drugs also, which didn't help, so, and drinking quite a bit, so, all that together just eventually got him to get fired, and he, and apparently because of all that, and he was still upset over being fired when they asked him where they wanted to put his name in the credits, since he was supposed to be the lead, um, but because of all that, and also the, uh, I mean, woman that they, uh, the warriors come across and who was basically with them uh, after they met met her, uh, Marcy, Fox and Marcy were supposed to be you know a love interest, uh, like that they were supposed to be a couple, but apparently they uh, the people didn't think that the two had chemistry together, so uh, the character of Swan becomes the now the new protagonist. And, uh, as a result, he, uh, you know, because of all that, he was just like, you know, don't even put my name on there at all, which he then, he regretted. But, um, you know, at the time he was, like, just upset, but, you know. And, uh, this is an excellent film, you know. As I mentioned before, when I showed off the various films I had gotten, this has a, a theatrical cut and the, you know, the director's cut, um, or as it says here, the alternative, the 2005 alternative version, um, where there's an opening, like, you know, narration and a little thing before the film actually gets going, and then, which is done by the director, Walter Hill, and then the film begins, and then every so often, for scene transitions, it's like a comic book. Because for Walter Hill, the best way for him to truly make sense of the story is if it's like a comic book. Because this is based off of a book, a uh, novel, but uh, uh, it, it was changed a bit because, you know, it was the warriors were primarily supposed to be just like, you know, black and like Hispanic and not have any like white people, but you know, it was supposed to be like a statement and stuff about, you know, prejudice and racism of the times of like in New York city and racial tension. And, um, there are differences with the book. Um, obviously just for that alone, but <clears throat> apparently, uh, also at the time it was like, you know, we can't just have a film with just black <laughs> people as the main cast because you know it, it's like they wouldn't sell um like i guess also like there were too many black stars that would be a big selling point to mainstream audiences uh at least you know also that's the studio talking so had to change on that basis just so people will actually uh, come and see it um and, uh, yeah, people did, you know, it did quite well, uh, when it was in theaters, but then over time with the home, like, uh, on TV and home video, um, this became a cult film. And this is, of course, from Arrow Home Video, um, which I'm becoming more of a fan of, as you can tell. Um, I know Imprint, which I got Lenny, which I talked about last, last week. Last time, last week. Um, and I, I, when I was seeing how I was confused, like I thought I had an imprint film already, which I, I didn't. It turns out I was thinking about this film because, um, you know, they released a Warriors, which uh, set, which I believe has actually quite a bit of features that, um, from what I recall aren't really on here because you know it's for that specific home video release for that licensing and so they i know they have like a certain uh, number made for the warriors and now that's out of print and probably have to get on ebay um but sometimes those are quite pricey um but uh like if i ever got that version also, I would probably just to get it just for all those, you know, features. 
because um, the features they have there's a lot of or old stuff from like the old dvd and blu-ray release of this film as well as new stuff which is nice um it's really cool to hear people talk about the film like this now but uh yeah um Yeah, there's a lot of stuff there. Like most of the special features are all on uh, the first disc, the theatrical cut, and the only thing on the uh, second disc is like the kind of like the introduction that Walter Hill made, just so everybody knew that this was the way he kind of wanted it, but couldn't get it at the time. But yeah, and. Uh, And as you see, you know, in uh, passengers are forbidden to ride outside door. And can you dig it? And uh, the cool book that comes with this uh, is made to look like a the New York subway guide. A lot of cool stuff like interviews and like overall discussions with like about the film and uh yeah, michael beck as swan james remmer ajax yeah thomas waits as fox though he of course doesn't get credit in the film dorsey wright as cleon the leader of the warriors Brian Taylor or Tyler as Snow, David Harris, Cochise, uh, Tom McKitterick as Cowboy, Marciello Sanchez as Rembrandt, Terry uh, Maestros as uh, Vermin, Deborah Vang, Van uh, Valkenberg as uh, Marcy, Roger Hill Cyrus, uh, David Patrick Kelly as Luther, and uh, Lynn Thigpen as a uh, DJ, who, you know, if you've seen John Wick Chapter 4, you know, throughout that film uh, in Paris, there's a, a woman who's a DJ playing songs, and she's uh, speaking to... Uh, all the various uh, people who, like the assassins who are after John Wick, she calls them boppers also, which is, which came from this film. Uh, this is a really good uh, edition, and I have got the normal Blu-ray version, because, you know, why not? Um, uh, this is a film that... Uh, I hadn't seen it in a long time, so when I finally got this, I'm like, you know, I'll just get the normal Blu-ray version just because uh, I think for, like, the 4K, it would have been if I absolutely loved this film and I had other editions and, like, I gotta get the 4K upgrade, I probably would, but, yeah, for this, I was just happy and fine with the normal Blu-ray version, um, Of course, you got your poster, which is well, basically is like this. And then on the other side was the original poster, which is this. And I think I mentioned this before. Also, there's some stickers. Um, but, you know, on... On this, on the outside here, on the case in the back of here, you know, it says Region A because he 
you know, being American, I live in Region A land. And yet on the discs, again, I don't remember if I showed these or not. I might have, but if I didn't, uh, I'm showing it now. And if I did already, well, here it is again. But Region B. Region B, so. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know why it says Region B. But it does, but the discs work on the plater that I, I watched it at. The first thing I did was put it in just to make sure it would actually start up and work, and it does. So I am happy for that, so I have no real complaints. So I, uh, yeah. Yeah, just, uh, <laughs> just something that's kind of. I guess fun, but interesting to note. But uh, here's some of the stickers. Furies, gang that is up like baseball, the turnball ACs, and the boppers. Stickers of the Lizzies, punks, and riffs. If I can get this out. That fell there, that's great. Yeah. The elect uh, electric eliminators, moon runners and orphans. It's cool just for all the various Gangs and all that. And then finally, there's the Warriors and Rogues. And then, of course, uh, they have the Warriors have like this images or like the pictures and everything um, Bathroom fight. It was, uh, it was pretty cool to see, honestly. It's really well done. And there's Swan and Marcy. And the warriors and the rogues, and there's, there is Luther pointing a gun uh, that killed Cyrus. The gun that, well, used to kill Cyrus. The gun itself didn't kill him, but, you know, the bullet did. And then there you go, back to the beginning. But yeah. really good set um so if you like this film um 
or haven't seen it in a while, sort of like I have, I think it would be good to get. And, and also there's sort of advertisement for Estorado Mudo de Z do I just messed that all up and I uh, yeah I really probably should stop uh, <laughs> trying to pronounce titles of movies that I have absolutely no way of actually pronouncing because I sound like a fool and then also I just butcher it anyway so you know though I uh, uh, guess hitting two birds with one stone so that's something, at least, I guess. Not sure if it's something to be proud of, but hey, that's something, but yeah. And yeah, that's The Warriors. Excellent film. And if you have, again, if you're like me and you have seen this film but haven't seen it in a while and want to own it, uh, this Arrow version is absolutely really well done. Uh, uh, part of me kind of wishes I got the 4K version, but I'm f happy with this, though, honestly. But, you know. And again, I don't know if I'll ever get the imprint uh, version of this. But if I ever do, it'll be because, you know, uh, it would be at a pretty good price. Not at all bad. And, uh, If I could, it'd be great if it was still sealed, but honestly, I know that probably won't be likely, and if it would be out there, it'd probably be very, very, uh, you know, uh, expensive, so the best I could hope for would be, like, used in good condition, or, or you know, so, yeah, excellent film, uh, Unfortunate, it wasn't able to be in theaters longer, but, you know, people uh, don't always act right, so uh, foolishness and stupidity seems to happen, and then a film like this gets pulled from theaters, unfortunately. But good film. Uh, I know it was pretty uh, Basic, but if you've seen this film, you already know <laughs> what all goes on in the film. The music is excellent, too. You know, uh, um, Joe Walsh made a song, uh, <clears throat> made a song specifically for this film. Um, uh, so, uh, yeah. In the City, I believe, was the name of the song. If not, I could probably just say what that was. But, yeah. Anyway. Uh, the Warriors is an excellent film. So, if you've seen this, what do you think? Um, do you really enjoy this film? Or are you somebody who isn't really fond of it? Like, maybe you heard about the cult status and you're like i'm curious about seeing it but then what you did you're kind of like meh wasn't that great um and hey if you haven't seen it yeah, maybe you'll want to i don't know if it's because of what i've said but hey whatever anyway i hope all of you are doing well hope you're all having a, a great day hope you've had a great weekend or will have a great weekend and i hope you've had a great week and i'll uh See you all next time. Take care. Bye.